What's good guys? It's a girl's Dr. Beauty in the house. And guys, I feel a little bit emotional because this is the series finale of Game of Thrones. I will admit I did binge this show earlier this year in January. Um, I just never had the chance to watch the show and I noticed that there was so much hype and usually when I hear so much hype about shows, I kind of stay away from them, you know, but this time I'm so glad that I gave Game of Thrones a chance before the series finale. Um, I actually heard about this being their last season ever last year and I had been meaning to watch the show and just never got around to it. So I finally got around to it this year. And when I tell you that I became an instant fan, I would say after probably season one, episode three, because the first couple episodes were a little bit slow for me. But after that, I was hooked. And I know that, uh, you know, some people believe that whether you've started the show recently or you've been a diehard fan since the past 10 years, you may be responding a little bit differently to the way that the season has been going. But I will say that even though the plot is not going as a lot of people expected it to go, the work that the cast and crew have put into this show is undeniable and should be commended. Um, they spent about one to two years making this show work. Not this series, this season. So I'm really proud of all of them. It's been very hard to stay away from the spoilers. So literally this week I did not um, scroll through my Twitter feed because there were so many people just saying this is going to happen, this is the final scene, which, you know, some people, I don't know, they may or may not really know that because they may have access to leaks, but I really just wanted to be surprised. So it's 10 minutes to showtime. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, I can't wait to see what the spinoffs will be. I feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that we're not just going to be left hanging with a um, series finale that we may not be happy with. But even if we're not happy with this series finale, there is a possibility that the spinoffs could answer some questions that may be left hanging tonight or just give us a little bit more closure. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm um, also looking forward to see if there is an Iron Throne at the end of tonight's episode or, you know, who ends up being on the throne or does somebody just set time back like has been my theory for a while i think maybe bram might set time back and we start all over again is sam gonna be at the end writing this whole story we don't know but i'm just gonna watch it and i really am so happy that nobody spoiled for me because i really just want to take the moment in and be able to share this moment with my kids and grandkids so <laughs> i know it's that deep already so guys, I'm going to get ready. I have my green tea. I just had dinner. After this, I'm crashing for bed. And yeah, I can't wait to see what happens. Until then, deuces. People, that's it. Game of Thrones is over. But we just got kind of the preview for three potentially new spin-offs. So first of all, we don't know where Drogon took Danny, her dead body, I should say. If she could like get revived somehow, I wouldn't put that out of the question. But she's gone as far as we know. Um I did not think that John was gonna kill her right then when he did, but I'm glad he did. But I just knew that I just thought that the repercussions for him would be a lot more dramatic than they were like i'm surprised they didn't just kill him on sight because gray worm was like out for blood um when they knighted or not knighted when they made um bran the king i was happy but also i was like this is just so anticlimactic because you know he lost like all his personality and you know i'm glad that he said why do you think i came all this way because sansa was trying to talk for him like oh you know he doesn't care about power but I think low-key, you know, he's had time to meditate and realize that he is the best person because he's the keeper of all the memories. Um, as for him not being able to, like, have kids later on, I guess 
what they're trying to imply is that all of this um, evil that's existed in all these kingdoms is hereditary, as we could see, which is what happened with Danny and with the Lannisters and with all the other people who have ruled. So um, I guess it's great that now they're just going to be electing who they want. Uh, Sansa is now the queen in the north. And... Wait, what's going on? Documentary? Okay. Oh, there's going to be a documentary of um, Game of Thrones next Sunday. I just got, like, carried away. Uh, Arya is going to discover what's west of Westeros. I jokingly say it, said America. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to find out what's west of Westeros. Uh, John is going to take care of the wildlings in the north. Because I was like, there's no Night Watch anymore. They already killed the Night King. And Grey Worm is going to rule his people in Noth, which I think is where um, Masande was from. So it'll be nice to see how that works out. But I was like, where did all these black people come from? Like, he had fleets of black soldiers. I'm like, don't tell me the Unsullied have been like all black this whole time under those masks. And I didn't even know because I was like very confused. But I guess that's what it has been. Um, it was very interesting to see Drogon not kill Jon right away. Either because he knew that he wouldn't die from Dragonfire or he also has love for him too. And also Drogon has been following what's been happening because he burned the Iron Throne. So, you know, that was really interesting. Um, I really could have done without the council meeting that they had with Tyrion and all Bran and them at the end because it was just so dumb to me and there were a lot of loose ends that they didn't tie up like okay we all saw everyone in King's Landing die like everybody died there were no survivors and Tyrion's talking about oh we have a lot of mouths to feed I'm like where where are these mouths that you're talking about because the Unsullied are leaving. I guess the Dothraki are staying. I don't know. They didn't really show what happened to them. But there's nobody left in King's Landing. So what mouths have to be fed? Um, it would have been nice to know, chronologically speaking, how much time has passed between all the events they were showing. I will say I do feel a sense of closure, but it just still seemed a little bit rushed. But um, yeah, that... I just am very surprised that Grey Worm and everyone kind of just let John walk freely through the streets after killing Danny. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I can think of at this point. I will be probably making some more videos for the spinoffs and also for the docu series that is coming out next Sunday about how they came about this season so please let me know what you thought about this season finale series finale i should say um i have a lot of mixed feelings still and i just want to release this right now while the you know buzz is still high but yeah guys if you did not feel closure i really feel bad i mean i don't think we ever do from tv shows this is kind of how i felt Actually, no, this is actually a better feeling that I had compared to Lost. I don't know if any of you guys watched Lost, but I watched that show from 2004 to 2010. Thank you very much. And the ending was crap, as we all know. But there was no hope for spinoffs and, you know, prequels and all these things. And at least the Game of Thrones fan base has that. So I'm happy that at least there's that. So we can probably understand more about their world. But yeah, the uh, series finale for Lost was complete crap. And there were no spinoffs. And we've just been sitting here with fan fiction for the past, what, nine years? So, you know, I think that is a blessing in disguise, so to speak. But thank you guys for taking the time to hear me out. I don't have really much else to say. But let me know in your comments below what you thought about this season finale. And I will be back sooner than you know it. Deuces.